And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Aaron Donald's the name most people think about in the defensive tackle position, but an all-pro last year alongside him, Cameron Hayward. An absolute nightmare to try and block. And he gets into the backfield on that play and finishes it off with a loss. At the 23, it's second and 12. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And maybe Shane's in the steel curtain here as the Steeler defense drops him behind the line again. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Haskins out of the gun. And he finds McLaurin. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And the Washington first down. First down, it's Gibson. And now they're gonna get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Ball carrier. It's big Vince Williams who made the tackle. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Second down, Haskins. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. First down, Washington. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Now Haskins to throw it. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. And some good running out of the gates as he takes this up to the 33. They get eight yards back there. They could use another one of those now on third and seven. It's a gain of eight, and it brings up third down.
Haskins back to the air. Slings this deep for McClure. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, his 11th touchdown of the year. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. Steelers, nothing. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Honor. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A good carry and a first down by James Conner. And this Pittsburgh team is really hoping he's back in form because last year the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback. James Conner only 715 combined yards, but in 2018, he was a Pro Bowl running back. Combined yardage that year? 1,470. They're open for 2018 James Conner in 2020. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A really good pickup of 28 yards. First and That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, He's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. It's Roethlisberger. Room to run inside the 40. And hitting Juju on the slam. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. The 36-yard line. Second down and three. It's Roethlisberger. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. 
Washington. Carter, on my spot sheets, I highlighted turnover margin because we, we remember they turned it over four times last week. So another one here in the first quarter. This isn't the way they want to go. No, not even close. And, and it's not something they even imagine because the amount of time that we know that they spend in practice talking about what they need to get done, working on it, showing them how to take care of the football, and emphasizing what it means in terms of winning, they are, they got to just be puzzled right now that they're not taking care of the ball better. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Take him down. It was Joe Hayden, the former pro bowler, that came up to get him down. Brings up second and 10 at the 46-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. From the gun, it's Haskins. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Vince Williams on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the Steelers' 27-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Washington, seven. Steelers, nothing. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a gain of 10. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now it's Haskins. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson. He scored on the ground and through the air. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes this Washington 14. Steelers nothing. Dustin Hopkins to kick off for Washington. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. At their own 21-yard line. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive 
But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On second down, it's Connor. They'll say no gain on the play there. And now it'll be third down. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and shut them down. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. But it's brought in by Washington. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. First target, first catch at a first down. 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Hands to James Connor. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now they face a second and long following the holding double penalty. Tight, guys, 77, 77. Now Roethlisberger. And that one falls incomplete. A 50-50 ball, a little dangerous, could have been picked. Now it's third down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Here's the Steelers' new signee for 2020, Dustin Colquitt, on to punt. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how do we have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Fielded near the back of the end zone. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. 
This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Roethlisberger. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Chase Young in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Now it's right. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have, and think back to our meeting with the head coach, and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's gonna slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll run on first down. Gibson. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And now off to the races down the right side. Touchdown, Washington. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And Washington going to add on to their lead. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Washington 28, Steelers nothing. Dustin Hopkins to kick off for Washington. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. The and this Steelers will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Again on second and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. James Washington was the intended target. Third down here. 
They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And that's going to be intercepted. Landed Collins, the Pro Bowl safety. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. It's almost like you can see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his pain a little bit. But the worst thing he can do is what you're seeing right now, showing the other team that he's frustrated. Mm -hmm. All they're going to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose himself, and keep fighting. Well, he talked a lot about erasing that loss last week, getting back in the win column. We'll see how he responds. But it'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Man, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two. Well, not a huge game there as we head towards the two-minute warning. It'll be interesting to me to see what they decide to do after the timeout. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. On second down now, it's Gibson. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. down. Here's Haskins. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this score will stay right where it is. So they'll come away with nothing here. A disappointing result even on a day like this. And as a kicker in the rain, you've got to slow things down a little bit. Give your holder an extra half second to make sure everything's secure. And here, he might have rushed this one a little, and it winds up no good. They start with a give to Connor. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. And Charles, you look at this offense, their struggles moving the ball well documented. Dead last in the NFL in first downs, but signs of life there. Yeah, and you and I do, I think, a really good job of respecting the game and respecting the teams. But this squad, they're in a position now where their fan base gets excited when they pick up a first down. They cheer almost like they picked up a touchdown. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The 
the Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble with this defense, and that's exactly the way that this game has gone. Pressure in his face. Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. Second and ten, it's Roethlisberger once more. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long, but a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Ben leaves to counter on the draw, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second and 11 at the 45-yard line. And he stopped immediately there. The wide receiver. Back-to-back the -back stops, make it third and ten. On the tackle. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. On third down, Roethlisberger. He'll get that one complete to counter. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle is made at Washington's nine-yard line. 34-yard line. At the 34-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. I got 19. He's mine. He's not going anywhere. Alert, alert. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single receiver. From the 30 on second down, Roethlisberger. Johnson with a completion over the middle. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and 10 is Connor. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. James Conner. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Roethlisberger. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Let's go. Hey, check my 50. 
Roethlisberger will throw. Going to throw deep for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Roethlisberger. They're trying for Washington, but the pass intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. On first down, Gibson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works Antonio it past Gibson, the 50. 16 yards He's right off the bat at a first down. Yard line. We've seen okay, him break off a big run already yards. in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. On first and 10, it's Haskins. And that is incomplete. Thomas, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. On first down, here's Love. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Strip that ball. 198, watch 98, 98 to Mike. Down to lose one. He's crashing. He's checking crash. Operating from the gun. Haskins, short throw to the tight end, Thomas. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass. But that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. And they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Hop 
Hopkins kick is good and they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger so he missed that field goal earlier but he says not this time able to knock it through give his guys three I like his poise I like his confidence his belief in himself sometimes when you miss that first one you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one not in this case stepped right up like a pro 25 yard line The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And into Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And it's Washington that scoops it up, and he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. And he knocks it through. Makes this Washington 38. Steelers nothing. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Second and six at the 29. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Jack 16. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A game there of 30 big ones. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. It's Connor, and the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Darren Lee. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, it's Connor. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Connor again, the ball carrier. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. 77, 77. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Hey, tight, tight. On third down, it's Connor. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's a five-yard pickup, but spotted a few chain links short of the first, so a little bit of decision time here coming up on fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out.
they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Roethlisberger. And now look at him go. 30, 20. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Washington 45. Steelers nothing. Dustin Hopkins to kick So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. Johnson on its poke free. Football's out. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error... I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. 30, it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Again, a run with Connor. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. But he was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. The Steelers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. They need just a yard here. It's third and one to throw here, Roethlisberger. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. On first down, Connor, and a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Ball carrier. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Line of scrimmage to 43 on second and four. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Let's go, defense. From the gun, a give to counter. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. He's a Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. 
Now Roethlisberger to throw. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. They'll run on first down. It's Connor, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle made by the tackle by Matthew Ioannidis. No game. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. On second down, it's Snell. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Now third. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. The tackle Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. And no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. Back, 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw again is Roethlisberger. Screen pass to Connor. And it's a big play there on third down, but with the marker on the field, I don't think it's going to hold. Let's see. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 18. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. A run here for J.D. McKissick. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. The Washington ball Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. At the 26-yard line. They'll go again with McKissick. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. So a victory here for the Washington football team. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Washington, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. and three. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, it's another week with more questions than answers as they fall to 3-9. and nine. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.